have it. The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkrech, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the Earth are at... Disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny, take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay, Alduin will be coming, he cannot miss the signs. Honor your courage, Kreef Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. What's going on? Glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone. But none have yet stood against Aldo and himself. Golf, Sori, Birko. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Aldo cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no. I will not need it. We will it. deal with Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Sister Hawk, 
matter to take the breath to make this contract heard. Be gone, World Eater. Thy words with older bones than your own. Break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. Hold. I'll count you out. All our enemies but to the last. Work. Did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls.
but I am Al Dudin, firstborn of Akatosh. Malagi Zoklat. I cannot be slain here by you or anyone else. So, you cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you. Lot Kongrach, you truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Nilivrach Hinmoro. True, this is not the final Krongra victory, but not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pahlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Zoom Ark Mora. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. What do you want me to let the dragon into the... There must be another way. The risk. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? 
Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then, I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon-trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war in the bargain. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. My cut is out fighting. 